Hey, it's Tax Cribs time from TaxMama.com. Today, Tax Mama hears from Kathy in the Tax Cribs forum, who is in utter despair. Let me summarize her problem, and you can read the details here. Her husband's ex-wife keeps claiming their children on her joint tax return with her new husband, even though the divorce agreement says Kathy's husband gets the children. Kathy and her husband are now forced to pay additional taxes on an installment agreement, no less, to avoid having their wages garnished or their bank accounts attached. How humiliating! What can they do? Well, Kathy, Rochelle Gross. Of Rochelle's tax service provided a good overview of the process and explained that your husband needs to get a form eighty three thirty two signed by his ex wife to avoid these problems in the future. But I'll bet she doesn't want to sign. So let me get on my soapbox here for a moment, because I truly feel your pain and it makes me furious. You would not be having this problem at all if your husband's attorney had done his or her job properly. What's the point of negotiating a divorce agreement and putting it in writing when you know the jerk you're divorcing, whether it's a man or woman, is never going to adhere to the terms of the agreement anyway? After all, if they could behave well, you wouldn't be divorcing them in the first place. Which is why I have put together a webinar for divorce attorneys or clients and tax pros whose clients get divorced. It's going to be a checklist of things to give your divorce attorney to ensure that you are protected. Rochelle is right about the rules. Without that form eighty three thirty two, you're going to have to fight this out every single year. After all, IRS is not a party to the divorce agreement. But I came up with a pretty clever, creative, and frankly nasty solution for Kathy. It's too long to post here, but read it. You're going to like it. And remember, you can find answers to all kinds of questions about divorces and other tax issues free. Where? Where else? At taxmama. dot com.